Hello, and welcome to Crusader Nation. My name is Sean Ryan, and I'm your host for today. This is the first installment of Crusader Nation. This will be the place to go for all things CHS. This past Friday, September 18th, the whole school gathered to celebrate the Mass of the Holy Spirit and the missioning of Father San Samino. Special guest Father Biaggi resided over Mass and missioned Father San Samino into his position as 35th president of Canisius High School. Father San Samino is not new to the Canisius family, however. In 1989, Father came in as a Spanish, French, and religion teacher, then to become director of admissions and then principal. Now he is back and more than excited to be working with CHS once again. The school again gathered this Wednesday, uh, the 23rd, to kick off the walkathon. The goal of revamping the library was announced, and an individual goal of $85 per student was announced as well. The walk will be October 9th, followed by the prep, pep rally and the legendary Peer Educators Dodgeball Tournament. Start raising funds now. Let's reach our goal, and then some. Our Canisius Varsity Volleyball team is currently undefeated, and is number one in Western New York, as well as number one in the state. What makes this week's game most exciting is that we are hosting our rivals, St. Joe's, on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. in the Kennedy Fieldhouse. Other high-profile game, games that will be held at home will be Eden on October 7th, McQuaid on October 16th. They are looking for redemption from last year's defeats from both of these teams. In other news, Canisius Drama Guild will be hosting its annual fall play. This year's production is The Chocolate Wars, directed by Brother Derby and produced by Mr. Group. This is a fantastic show about a boys' travel through private prep school. The show dates are November 19th, 20th, and 21st at 7.30 p.m. Can't wait to see you there. Now over to Nate and Dan with football. Thank you, Sean. I'm Dan Dallas. And I'm Nate Massolino, here with your first sports installment on Crusader Nation. The Crusader football team, entering Week 3, was 2-0 after two road victories against Shen and St. Mary's of Lancaster. They hosted their first home game against the South Park Sparks and came out victorious 23-20, two key players being Desmond Nicholas and Blake Hobiel. Desmond Nicholas led the Crusader defense with two key interceptions that put him on key offensive drives. Blake Hobiel kicked a 61-yard field goal that set the Western New York record. And now we can look at him for ourselves as we take a look at the highlight reel. On Saturday, we welcome you to the Robert J. Stransky Memorial Complex, the home of your Canisius Crusaders. The Blue Crew led an enthusiastic charge into the stands right before game time. Desmond Nicholas, senior defensive back, shared that enthusiasm as he reeled in two first-half interceptions that were key to the Crusaders. With the first half expiring, senior quarterback Tyler Stranahan delivered a 31-yard strike to junior Cole Berniston for a touchdown that added to their current lead. The Blue Crew made sure to let the whole town of West Seneca, New York, know this was a crucial touchdown for Canisius High School. Briefly after this play, the Blue Crew left the stands and headed to the parking lot where they stood around Sam Hoare's car for a good time during halftime. But the excitement picked up right as they got back into the third quarter as junior transfer and their kicker, Blake Hobiel, booted a Western New York record-breaking 61-yard field goal straight through the uprights. Going into the last drive, the South Park Sparks only trailed by three points, but their hopes of winning the game came to an end after this fumbled snap was recovered by your Canisius Crusaders. Their defense made sure to secure the win. Here with kicker Blake Hobiel. Had a big game, 61-yard field goal. What was going through your mind when you were set up behind midfield and had to boot it through the uprights? You know, I, uh, I I missed a 46 on earlier, so I knew this next one would be important. And I, I looked down at my holder and said, get that down, I'll put it through. I was a little nervous, but at the same time, you know, you always want those kicks. And I, I was really excited, and I, I tried to make the most of my opportunities, and uh, luckily I won in. And you know, at the time, it just seemed like insurance points. Did it ever cross your mind that this would be the difference maker in winning or losing the game? Well, you know, you try to take advantage uh, on field goals and extra points as much as possible, but that's why you never know. You take it one step at a time, and like today, it ended up we won by three points, so it was a, it was a good victory for the team. Great game, Blake. One of our two difference makers had a phenomenal game and ended up winning it for him. Thank you. Congratulations, first of all. We're here with Desmond Nicholas, uh, big defender for the Crusaders today. He had two interceptions. Just run us real quick. What's going through your mind when that ball went up in the air? Uh, first, I was thinking about just knocking it down, but it looked like a perfect pass. Like I got pushed by the offense. They had some pretty good 
good receivers. What was your game plan? Right? Was this game you shut them down? Uh, honestly, I was just trying to lock down the receivers. That's the day. Now leaving those highlights behind us, the Crusader football team looks forward to a tough week four matchup against DePaul Catholic from New Jersey. DePaul Catholic has a massive line, but they also have to worry about the number one running back in the nation, Kareem Walker. He's an Ohio State commit along with our kicker, Blake Hubbell. Now that's such a weapon to worry about because the Crusader defense has to focus on stopping that run, but that can really open up the passing game when you have that many men in the box. It's going to be very interesting to see how the Crusader defense handles this. Thank you for joining us, and now back to you, Sean. Retreat season kicks off this week with MS 154 heading out to Cradle Beach on Thursday. Cairo 84 follows close behind, leaving next week, Wednesday. If you have not signed up for a retreat this year, head down to Campus Ministry to find out more. It may not be too late. That's all for this week, Crusaders. Keep on being men and women for others. See you next week.